Hi, I'm Mr. D'Angelo, and I'm the assistant principal at BCIS. And I'm Miss D'Angelo. I teach fifth grade science and social studies here at BCIS. Welcome to another edition of the Sunspot Sunday, where we talk all things solar eclipse. The first thing we wanted to talk to you about today is the star of the show, which is the sun. First of all, without the sun, there would be no life here on Earth. The sun is essential in giving us light and heat and the energy that we need here on Earth. In fact, Earth is sometimes referred to as the Goldilocks planet because it's just right. Next, the sun is a star, and it's actually only an average sized star. There are stars out there that are bigger than the sun and stars out there that are smaller than the sun. The reason why the sun looks so big and bright to us here on Earth is because it's the closest star to us on Earth. The sun is 4.5 billion years old. That is pretty old. The sun is the largest, most massive object in our solar system. In fact, the sun's mass and its gravitational force is what gives the ability, the planets the ability to stay in their orbit. The surface of the sun, so the part that we can see, can reach temperatures up to 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, the core of the sun can reach temperatures up to 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And now that we know that the sun is a star, let's talk about what makes up a star. A star is a big ball of gas and plasma. About 91% of a star is made up of hydrogen gas. Under a lot of heat and a lot of gravitational force, this is fused into helium gas when it undergoes nuclear fusion. When the plasma is heated up so much, some of those particles escape the sun's gravitational force and actually turn into solar wind. Solar wind can actually be viewed as the northern lights in Iceland and sometimes can be referred to as the aurora borealis. There are about 65 other gases and elements that make up a star, some including oxygen, carbon, neon, iron, and sulfur, but the most abundant gases would be hydrogen and helium. The center of it all. Like I mentioned before, the sun is at the center of our solar system. The sun's gravity holds our entire solar system together. So the eight planets that orbit the sun are held together by the sun's strong gravitational force. Our solar system is even named after the sun. The Latin word for sun is sol. So how big is the sun actually? Our sun is about 864,000 miles in diameter which makes it approximately 100 times wider than the Earth. It is a massive star. You can actually fit 1 million Earths inside of the sun. If you take a look at this diagram, our Earth is on the way left, followed by Uranus, Saturn, and then Jupiter. And if you remember, Jupiter is our biggest planet in the solar system. And take a look at how much more massive the sun is compared to these four planets. Distance from Earth. Earth's average distance from the sun is about 93 million miles from the sun. Scientists refer to that as one astronomical unit. The light of the sun takes eight minutes to reach Earth. As former lifeguards, swimmers, and swim coaches, we know a lot about staying safe in the sun. When you're outside in the sun, you wanna make sure that you're wearing a hat, using sunglasses, and sometimes even protective clothing. Also, you want to make sure to avoid the sun between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. That's when the sun is the strongest and most powerful. And if you are out in the sun, be sure to use sunscreen at least 30 SPF. Also, make sure you drink a lot of water in order to stay hydrated. Along those lines of sun safety, we wanted to reiterate how you should be very safe when you're viewing the solar eclipse. First off, make sure that you understand that ordinary sunglasses are not safe for the solar eclipse. When you are viewing our solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024, make sure you're wearing your specially designed solar eclipse glasses that you got in school in October. 
You can also use something like this, which is an eclipse viewer, to make sure your eyes are protected from the sun. And I know many families out there want to take pictures of the solar eclipse, but again, please do not use the naked eye when you're viewing your phone camera, telescope, or a, a, a camera. You want to make sure that you're using your solar eclipse glasses as a filter. Thank you for joining us today on another edition of Sunspot Sunday. As you can see, Sparty is ready to go with his solar eclipse glasses. Now let's see what the Borman High School swim team has to say. Dive!